Panther Nation podcast. Yeah. Let's go. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Cut right. And I would like to introduce one of the hottest podcasts in Carolina history. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. No. Stop, let's check. Let's go. We got time to chop it up. Uh-huh. Talking analytics and fantasy draft. You know what's up. Panther Nation representing. Because this is where we talk that. Talk that's so incredible. Make them rewind that talk back. Pause. Talking Panthers football. We discussing it all. On and off the field, you know exactly who to call. You know we the number one podcast. Competition is non-existent. You need to stop that. Pause. It's an honor to be a Panther fan, Paul. At Bank of America, that is where we ball. Coming to the jungle, then you gonna feel the pause. Winning the trophy for the city, it is the call. Black, white, and blue, we going Carolina strong. And this is the conversation where everyone belongs. Discussing all the numbers and topics, you know we got it. We the hottest podcast, and we popping. Let's go. QueenCityPodcastNetwork.com Yo, 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 what's cracking, Panther Nation? What's good with y'all, man? Uh, Yeah, so... I I told (laughs) y'all. There you go. (laughs) There it is. There it is. There it is. Dave, what you got, man? I told y'all that we were going to get a first round pick for this guy. (laughs) You heard the you heard the um the numbers right. You want to start with him? Let's just yeah, get straight so to him. Let's 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 talk about it. We we gotta we gotta break everything down. It's a lot, a lot, a lot that has happened in the past hour, two hours or so. Um, so I mean, do a lot of people you know start with the 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 big news at the end? But why do that? Why why do we need to wait? Uh, to talk no, about no, we don't need and to no, wait because no, it just no happened. Need for sus- no need for suspense. Let's just jump right into it. Hold on, Dave. Let me get my light going because I feel a little you dark. I feel you, dog. It's gonna be a dark, it's a dark day for some of y'all guys, but Dave. we got a whole discussion point. We can we can we're gonna we're gonna go through all this in about an hour. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We're gonna we're gonna knock this out by eight o'clock. Yeah, Dave, Dave said it's, it's a dark pod. So, you know, here he, I had to lighten up a little bit. So we go shout out to A Cash with the super chat, man. We appreciate y'all. Super chats coming through. Uh, a cash says to summarize my feelings. Love the hunt signing. Don't like the burn trade. Hate the Louvu departure. Yes, we will talk about it all. We got it all. Second, give us a little second. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the biggest news of the day, and that's going to be Brian Burns traded to the New York Football Giants for a second round pick and a fifth round pick. A 2025 fifth round pick. A 2025 fifth round pick. I did not know that. Thank you, Dave. Yes. 2025 fifth, fifth round pick. So, you know, we were all hoping that when the news dropped, Sheena had Sheena Quick. Shout out to Sheena Quick. If you're not following Sheena Quick on X, please do so because she's the one that pretty much debuted the fact that the, the trade was about to go down and she didn't know the details of the compensation. So I immediately went to the, the, pan, uh, the, uh, the Giants draft order and i said oh bro they got the sixth round pick i mean the sixth overall pick we ain't getting that bro i thought <laughs> we were gonna get that john and then come to find out uh you know that immediately as soon as i tweeted y'all correct me it was like nah that's not gonna happen bro i've been busy today so i haven't been a chance to the- hang on the twitter streets or the x streets like that but y'all immediately immediately let me know that that was not the case we we're not getting the, the sixth overall pick uh, and the that best we, case we, scenario we, is, is if we took both seconds. That, that was the yeah. best case. Yeah. That there was no happen. way, guys, that we were going to get that six overall pick. So I, I that so the the best case was the two seconds. Most likely was going to be a second and a late round pick of the same draft, and we ended up with a second and a late round pick of next year's draft. Yeah, yeah. So it's not 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 necessarily good, but at the end of the day, like I was saying, the compensation. That you get when you have to pay a player, they paid him too. He got what a five year, fifty million, a hundred fifty million dollar deal. That's thirty. He got his thirty million. He got. I was his told. 30 million. I, I heard that it was not about the thirty mil per year. It was more about the guaranteed dollars. It was about okay. the guaranteed amount. 
Okay. He got $87.5 million guaranteed. Because remember, just because you're getting a five-year $150 million deal, that don't mean it's all guaranteed. He and Kirk Cousins, bro. Fun fact. Yeah. Kirk Cousins, this is the first contract he's had since his rookie deal where all of it wasn't guaranteed. Yeah. So, so shout out to, uh, you know, Brian Burns. Wish him the best of luck. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Hater mode. Uh, again, y'all know how it goes. I mean, I was a Brian Burns fan. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I mean, that's how it goes. That's, that's, that's how it goes. When you when you uh when you are a Rod or Die Panther fan, you know it, it is what it is. So, salute for your service to the Carolina Panthers, but that's it. I mean, hey, hater mode is now activated for any former Panthers, and y'all know we he wasn't the only guy we lost today, especially from the defensive side of football. We also lost Frank Frankie Lugo. Lugo, and I gotta be honest with you, I had I had disconnected myself from Brian, but I had already I already knew what was coming, right? So I was like, all right, I'm cool. I had accepted the fact that we were losing Brian Burns. I was cool with that. I had already accepted that. But Luvu, bro, that one hurt. And he walked for nothing. Not a thing. He didn't, we didn't get anything, no trade, no return value. He got, I think he got like 11 million per year in his contract uh with the white with the Washington Commanders. So he is now a member of the Washington Commanders, which freaking sucks. Um, Luvu, that one hurt. I got to be on. I'm going to be completely transparent here. The Luvu situation hurt me more than losing Brian Burns. I just, I'm going to be transparent. That's just me being completely transparent. Losing Luvu hurt me more than losing Brian Burns. And, okay, so let, let me address this. Let me address this because, you, because let me, hold on one second. Uh, where is it? This is misguided, Noah. This is a mis Very misguided. This is this is a misguided target, okay, for for Dan Morgan. Somebody somebody in the chat posted earlier, uh, Fitterer is terrible. This is misguided. Fitterer is the one you should be mad at. Mm -hmm. not Dan Morgan. F Fitterer turned. Fitterer is the one that turned down two first round two picks. First round picks from the Rams for Brian Burns, and now we end up with the second round pick in a 2025, a next year fifth round. We got fleeced. Well, we didn't get we didn't get fleeced. We didn't get fleeced because Josina fleece. Anderson thought it wasn't going to be more than a third. Yeah, we didn't get fleeced. Let me not say that we didn't get fleeced because again, when you get a guy like that, you have to pay him. So when you have to pay a player and trade for him, the compensation comes way, 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 mm -hmm. way down. Which is and, why, which is why Brian Burns last year, before he when he was on the rookie deal, that's why he was offered. That's why we were getting that those two first round picks was because he was still on a rookie contract. It so was, it he, made, he was on a rookie. He was on a rookie contract, and there was a team that don't really give a damn about their picks. That was willing to give them up to us, but then we told them no. And and I had a whole Twitter argument about this, about why we weren't going to get a first round pick on Twitter a few days ago. Went back and forth with a lot of y'all about this, and I just want to remind y'all. I told y'all. You guys got to realize that it's different. Just because we're offered a first round pick while he was on the work you deal doesn't. It's different when you're not on the contract anymore and you're on a tag. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's not the same value. Yeah, because you if you, if, if you were on a, if you traded him while he was on his rookie deal, then you can then you have time. Then that other team is the other team's problem to figure out how to negotiate that deal. It ain't yours anymore. And they and they feel like we got more time, so we can give you these assets to do it. But once you told him no, then you had another chance to trade him instead of DJ Moore. And you guys, they had two chances to do this. Yep. They did. Two. And it's and listen, and you got to be able to separate your hate, right? Make sure your hate is guided in the right direction. Everybody needs to be mad at Scott Fitterer, not Dan Morgan and Brand Tillis. They inherited this. Now they've got to clean everything up. It's not their fault. They have to clean everything up. No, Panther no, yeah. Matt. No. We only would have gotten comp picks if if, if he, he would have left as a free agent and we signed. We and the get, equation falls the right way for us yeah. to get something at best. It would have been a third anyway. That's we why I said we're lucky we to get above a third. Get, you could potentially get one for Luvu because Luvu left for nothing. Um, and so he. But we didn't trade for him. him. It's not about trading. It's if I you thought lose it was. I thought it was about guys that you have. Yeah, uh, particularly draft. It's not oh, about draft. Oh, it's not, it's not okay. about draft. It's not all about draft, but, but, at the, but at the same time, we just signed some folks, so it's gonna probably. Yeah, it it, it all it all weighs. It's it's, it's, there's an equation that nobody really knows how it works, but at the end of the day, if you sign if you re-sign players, 
then then it, the equation will balance itself out and we won't get we won't get uh won't get it's not in general either it's there is a rule it's not just you sign somebody then lose them there's rules around it there's rules yeah. around my pick scenario and i don't that's, know the, off the side of my head and but, that's why i don't know if luvu's gonna count because we didn't draft luvu i thought I that was a fact i thought that was a factor into it as well no it's not about it's not all about drafting it's not it's not just drafting right. it's not just drafted players um, all right now um, before we get into the guys that we signed, I want to have that we sign. I want to have a discussion about some of the guys that were signed by other teams, particularly two defensive tackles, Wilkins and Jones. Mm -hmm. Y'all look at those numbers, and then you think about how we're going to get Derek Brown here. No, and but I think no, I think. But this is this is why this is why you have to sacrifice a guy like Brian Burns. You can't. And again, hit the button, Dave. Hit the button for I me, Dave. I told y'all. You can't pay everybody. <laughs> go back and go back and talk to all the folks that says the salary cap doesn't exist. Go go talk to those folks and have them explain to you why we can't keep everybody. Have them explain to you why a guy like Brian Burns is not part of our, our long-term plans. Have them explain to you why a guy like Frankie Louvu is not part of our plans. When you prioritize, bro, Derrick Brown is about to get a bag. You have to play the balancing game. They're, they're going to get – bro, Derrick Brown's going to be around here. They're, they're maneuvering to pay a guy like him. That's why he, he's going to get paid. We didn't you even – wait, wait, mean? wait. They said we pick swapped? Hold on a second, man. Now I got to pull this up. I got to get clarity on this. If we pick swap, I got – I'm going to be pissed if we just pick swap. There's no way. Okay, so Aaron Patton says we pick swapped – we pick swap fifth round picks this year, so we move to one forty and Giants go to one forty one. Bro, that's terrible. If that's the case, hold on, let me see. Somebody's saying no, we didn't. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know that ain't true. true. I'm not buying it. I heard it was a twenty twenty five fifth round pick. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. Some we, they're saying we didn't pick swap. We good. We good. They All said right. we got. I just want to make sure y'all y'all need to quit making stuff up in the chat. I'm gonna start booting y'all, man. Yeah. So real quick, we got a thousand people in here. Make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for your boys. Hey, we're trying to get to 22,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. All right, he said fake news. Yeah, fake news. Fake news. That is fake news. Yeah, it's, 2020, it's a 2024 20, second round or 2025 20, fifth round, like I said at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Yep. So, again, the salary cap does exist. There are points where you can start taking risks, but we're not there. You got you to gotta really maneuver. And so, yes, I with Keith Johnson, this is perfect. Dan Morgan is trying to clean up the mess that Federer, Federer caused. Got to have faith in Dan and Brent. I agree. You got to let them cook. Now, let's let's talk about that because, again, we Brian Burns is just the – bro, that's just – that part – Burns, Luvu, that's just part of it, bro. Bro, Dante Jackson gone. Hayden Hurst gone. Bradley Bozeman. Dave, do you want, do you want to pause here for a second and talk about Bozeman in that situation? Yeah, I mean, uh, mm. do we want to bring that up or no? Nah, just say he's getting let go. <laughs> I I just let, well, say, all right. Dude, just I, I mean, maybe we'll 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 let the patrons know, but that'll probably be a, the, the extent of it. So become yeah. a patron if you really want to know. Yeah, there, there's some stuff behind that. And this, Bozeman, yeah, gone. The both Von gone. Bill gone. Yeah, Frankie Lugu gone. gone. Brian Burns now gone. Don't, yo, we are cleaning house, bro. Cleaning house, cleaning house, and you know that's just what it is. Now, who are we keeping around? We did resign JJ Jansen, the legend. Shout out to the legend, Troy Hill. Keeping him around, Troy Hill had, was a very good rotational cornerback for us. Solid head. I'm glad he's back. Um, so we still got a lot of guys left. There's a lot of guys still out there. Jeremy Chin, uh, you know, Shaq Griffin, Yitu Gross Matos, Kamu Grugier Hill, Marquise Haynes. There's a lot of guys still out there. There's a lot of guys out there. Oh, there was a there was a pick swap. We still get the 2025 fifth rounder, but it was a pick swap. But when you're talking about one pick. That so shout out, man. Shout out, man. Give give him, man. Give him, give him his props. I'll give him his props. What my per man? What my man? Y'all. What my man that said that said it initially. He he gets props. We call nah, it. Fake news, nah, I, I had to start doing some more digging. But this is the thing. Here, here. Shout out to uh, G Jordan Ra Ra Rain and said it. Shout out to, yeah, that's the tweet I found too. Yep, 2024 second round, 2025 fifth round pick to the Pans in exchange for Burns. Teams will also swap fifth round picks in 2024. A source told Jordan. 
person? Jordan Ren- Renan. Yeah, Renan. Yeah, say that. yeah, yeah go nah. Ahead. Now go we ahead. good. That is it. So, yeah. So, Dave, it, and we also got to talk about, we also got to talk about uh, Robert Hunt, Dave. Hit the button one more time, Dave. Hit the I button. I told one more time. y'all. Offensive protecting Bryce Young. It's, that's what this is all about. Bro, we got one of the best guards out there in free agency. When you look at his PFF score, I had to wipe my eyes because I haven't seen PFF scores like that in forever. <laughs> <laughs> From the interior, I was like, I couldn't believe my eyes. This was a phenomenal signing. Great this was signing. a phenomenal and signing, and guys. Man, for the haters out there saying we overpaid, bro, that's the no. market. That's the market. And listen, you got the right side with Moten. Moten is short up. Morton, Moten, now Robert Hunt. That right side is legit, bro. And when you look at them PFF scores, bro, you're going to be like, bro, and it's not just he's balanced. Good in the run game, good in the pass protection. He's that's good, why, he's and, that, and that's why they paid him what he paid him. I saw his PFF scores, bro. I was like, oh, we got a guy now. And he's, he's, a, fit to, he's, he's a fit to the screen, to the scheme he wants to do too. 27 years old, young, still young in his prime. Make it happen. I love I loved this sign, right? He's going to plug in a right guard. Now, word on the street, word on the street is that, you know, we might slide Austin Corbett into center because Corbett did play center with the uh with the um with the Browns. He played right. center with the Browns too. Then now you still got Christensen, but I also word also on the street is that we ain't done in uh with the offensive line of free agency. So yeah. while we might we might have a Robert Hunt, that ain't stopping us from going out there and shoring it up even more. So they they are getting veteran guys in here to protect Bryce Young, and that's what it's been all about this entire that's what this whole free agency was about. That's why you're getting guys like Luvu and Burns sacrificed. And I tell y'all what, I Evero is such a good coordinator, he's gonna work with what he had. We saw it last year. That don't mean it's gonna be the defense is gonna be better, unless depending on what we do in a draft. No, but we saw we saw him work with a a lot of mid. Let's well, we'll get we'll is. get Shaq back. We'll get Shaq back this year. You get Shaq back, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna go get another edge rusher. It we're might gonna probably be, draft one. It, we go, we're gonna get one. We're gonna get another linebacker. We're Patrick Queen talking about Patrick Queen out there. Then we're gonna go get a guy, bro. We're not done. We're not. We're just not paying thirty million to a guy. We're not done. So I, I firmly believe that Panthers are still working. I and I believe as long as Evero is our coordinator, Evero is gonna put these guys and get the guys. And put them in the re- in the best positions to see that that cornerback room is going to improve, I believe, and it's going to help everybody. I'm telling you, he did not have a premier pass rusher when he was in Denver, bro, and he still made it work. They had a top five defense without a premier pass rusher. Yeah, Come but, on, man! But they had a phenomenal secondary too. But I mean, they had Patrick Sertain. That, well, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why I just said the secondary is going to get better. Hey, yeah. Justin Simmons is out there. You don't think we're going to make we let we let uh, Von Bell go? You don't think we making room try to get a Justin Simmons? He knows the scheme. It'd be nice. I'll tell you that. It'd the be defense nice. is gonna be, bro. I'm telling you, I I believe in the defense. I'm not. I'm not as concerned about losing Brian Burns as y'all might be. I like Brian Burns, but I feel okay about. I trust Evero, and I think he's gonna put these guys in the best position to succeed. And I think they're gonna be fine. I really believe that. I really believe that, bro. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be that optimistic. Cause I'll see what else they do. I'm optimistic because I because dog, we lost three starters. Like like bro, we, I'm we, telling you, I, I'm bro, not doubting it. now. And, go back and look at what he did in Denver. They lost their they lost their starters. They didn't have a. Oh no, I'm not every, doubting Ebro's ability nice. to coach. I'm not doubting Ebro's ability to coach. I still think right because as of right now, as of right now. DJ Johnson is starting for us in the defensive line. Bro, how you gonna say that? How you gonna say that? Like, you know, we're not done. I know that's my point. Like, that's what I need to see. Like, we not I done. need no no no. I need to see what else we do. No, I know done. they're gonna show up that line, but that's a good thing for y'all because y'all got a chance to get that that wide receiver y'all want with that first pick. This increases that's, your odds. That's gonna I think I think. Wide receivers in play. I think we do need to get edge rusher in free yes. agency. You got to get it. You're not gonna go. You're not gonna go into the draft with the way it sits. You're not gonna go into the draft with DJ Johnson and Amari Barno uh, as your guys. You're gonna sign somebody. 
We're going to get somebody. I'm not concerned about that. I'm not concerned about that. So folks are asking about uh, the cap space. Um, and let me pull it up because I don't know if it's real. But th- OK, so 35 million is where we currently sit right now. That's letting Brian Burns, trading Brian Burns, $35 million in cap space. That does not include the Ron, uh, the Robert Hunt signing. So depending on how that is structured, again, just because a guy is getting paid, I think he's getting paid $25 million per year based on his contract. Just because he's getting paid, that does, that does not mean that his, cap he's getting paid that his, that's his cap hit per year, right? So they could backload the contract, which could mean that he's going to have a small cap hit this year and the cap hits will build up. But I'm t- this is why we went over it. Bro, I, I sat there. We did the scenarios. I knew that this was not going to play out long. This There's no way that this Brian Burns situation could play out into week one and all. That no was not way. happening. There's no way that was happening. So I'm glad they went ahead, did what they needed to do. They took what they could get for it. We're turning the page. We're moving on. Brian Burns is now on the hate list. I'm sorry. I, I can no longer cheer. I'm not going to be cheering for him. I'm not if he makes I just football, got the jersey signed, keep, bro. I'm keeping the same energy with him, McCaffrey, and all them other dudes. They can all kick rocks. It's hate mode. How long does jersey insurance last? I don't know, but I bought one. Let, let, that's a good question. Let's answer that right yeah, now. Yeah, because I bought my joint in July. It's probably too late now. I mean, no, it's it been, ain't. Don't it's say been that. July. It was during training camp, bro. Like don't say that. Let's see. Let's see when it is now. Jersey insurance jersey assurance. Let's see. Let's see when it is. And I got to sign one, too. So you get a free replacement jersey if the active player you purchase, which is, oh, dang it. 90 dang. days or something like that. How long? Days, day, yeah, I lost, figured. Day. Nah, that's all right. I don't, I don't win. Look, dog, I don't win dang. these battles, bro. I got a Jeremy Chin jersey signed. He probably ain't coming back. I got a Brian Burns jersey signed. He probably ain't coming back. It's like whenever I get guys signed, he ain't coming back. And that's okay. This is what I'm talking about, double O Kane. Hate mode activated. Come on. Unfollowed. Nah. Yo, that's that's the energy I be on. Everybody getting unfollowed. Everybody getting. I don't want to see what you're doing no more. Get off my timeline, bro. I'm sorry. We out of here. That's just what it is. That's just what it is, man. Everybody out of here. Everybody got to go. Hate mode. Hate mode activated. That's the energy I'm on, bro. I kind of wish that. I kind of wish we could have gotten a deal done with Burns, man. But I kind of knew that it wasn't going to happen. I kind of knew it wasn't going to happen the way that the conversations were going, the way that the statements were out, talking about, oh, we're not bro, doing a contract. I knew, bro, I knew it was over at the press conference when he said, we want dogs like Frankie Louvu, we want dogs like 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 uh, Derrick Brown, and did not mention Brian Burns. I knew it was over at that point. Mm. I knew it. I knew it was over. And I called, I said it. Y'all. I said it. I literally said it. Dude. I was like, yo, I said, I said, listen, he did hey. mention somebody. Hey, hey, Will, Will, Will. I told y'all. I don't give a damn what you don't think he's worth, but what did I say? I told you guys that if we don't pay him, somebody will. And somebody he did. did. He did say that. He did. And like that. that's why when I be trying to tell you guys, when we like, and it's funny because I was on Quick Blitz before we went live, and the and Sheena got into the whole thing about the history of Charlotte teams not wanting to resign people. And and she brought and and Vasta brought up the history of us being critical of Herney because he did sign, re-sign his players. So now we're back in the state where we don't re-sign none of our players. We well, out here well, giving again. You got. I, I, you're right. I agree with with the, with the statement, Dave. But we gotta we gotta be able to separate regimes, right? That that no 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 absolutely them. absolutely. That's them. You gotta be able to let these no, guys I'm with you. cook. You gotta. No, I'm let with you. I'm Brent with you. Phillips let them cook, bro. Because I, for me, I, for for me, I see, bro. When I can when I can follow what you're trying to do and I can see the vision and it works, then I, it makes sense to me. Like what when they said when I said that yo the the all the focus is going to be around protecting Bryce Young, and they actually do it. They actually all right. We're gonna be able to sac- We're gonna have to sacrifice defensively, right? We're gonna we gonna we can't sign Brian Burns. We can't sign Luvu, but we go out and sign the best guard, like. Yeah. And your defensive coordinator is good enough to where he can he can overcome because he's just a good he's that good of a of a defensive uh, mind. Like you're gonna shift that money into your offense, and hopefully Canellis can get it going. And when the, when the product touches the field and we start to see that work, that's when I'm like, all right, that's that's what I'm talking about. And over time, we're gonna start paying the guys we need to pay. 
paying a guard that, that amount of money, bro, is what needed to happen. And I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't have said that had we not gone on cut to it with Steve. When we yeah, was on and cut he talked about how it, important and he said, interior, he said, bro, he interior said, line is, is important. The interior with a guy like Bryce Young, because of his stature, the interior of the offensive line is more important than your, and, your tackles. And people think that that was my thinking. Right, my right. thinking was you gotta have those tackles. You gotta have you gotta get the left tackle straight, protect the blind side. If, if there was one, if there was one thing that came out of cut to it, that was probably the one thing that kind of took me aback. When he, when Steve Smith said that, I was like, oh, okay. And and it's true when you think about it, because the one thing, one thing a, a quarterback doesn't like is getting pressure up the middle. They hate that. Brady hated it. No quarterback likes pressure up the middle. None. Yeah. Pause. Man, pause. pause. And somebody yeah. just said we might have gotten Patrick Queen. Let me go. Let me go confirm this. Did we just sign Patrick Queen? Because I just talked about it. Hit the button again, Dave. If I mentioned true. it no, too. Not yet. No, you got to confirm first. You got to confirm. No, I, I, I don't have to confirm all the time. You got to confirm that. Let's see. So we're confirming whether we got Patrick Queen or not. Live on the on the show. I don't see it yet. I don't see it yet, guys. So we, we yeah, might I, have, I don't but, see it yet either. Um, I don't see it yet. Not yet. Don't pull the trigger too much. No, yeah, we good. We'll, we'll hold off on that. Um, I don't. I don't. Now I heard that Seattle wasn't accurate. I heard him sign up to Seattle was not accurate yet. Because they they were talking about that hours ago. So we haven't signed him yet. He hasn't been signed yet. Give me a right. second. Give me one second, Dave. Hold on. Hold on one second. You got to take it for a second. All right. All right. That's fine. So you go ahead and mute it up. Yeah, the Seattle treat was absolutely fake. Um, uh, I wouldn't be worried about Chase Young. You know what? Let me hit all these super chats because I think we didn't hit them all. So why hit while Rashad goes through this? Uh, let's see. But well, we got a lot. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it in the trenches. Yeah, Robert Hunt. Take care, Robert Hunter Carolina. Don't worry, we will, man. And I know he's a dog. Um, the time we spent negotiating with Burns is why Lulu got away. Preaching the super chat, Marquise. I don't agree there. I think you're supposed to try to negotiate with Burns first. Um, you know, Luvu, it was interesting how much he got with the commanders. I think he believe he got 12 years or 12 mil a year. Uh, if I remember correctly, three-year deal for 12 mil a year. So shout out to him for getting paid. I mean, big, 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 big um salary jump for him. We talked about the cap situation already. Appreciate the super chat there. Good move going live today. Y'all knew tomorrow's pod would have been long, and it would have been fine, man. I mean, we got—I know we we got a hard stop today because um, I got a show after this too. But I know Shaw got somewhere to be later. So, all right, man, Joe, man, just grieve, bro. It's okay. But I think I think the decisions are made. I think right now, Dan Morgan is in cleanup mode. Like, there's no other way to say it. Um. Something is better than nothing at this point. Morgan can't go back in time, but I was actually expecting to resign Lulu. Yeah, that was a bigger surprise than me. I was kind of taken aback by it, but then that says a lot. Folks should be asking folks should be asking Dan Morgan and Dan Morgan whether or not he even negotiated with Lulu. Because we really didn't have those talks about that. I know he said Lulu was a dog, but nobody really talked about the fact whether or not he was in negotiations with him or not. Because we had the opportunity to do it before he got into free agency. Uh, who's worse, Biden's administration, the Panthers front office, Panthers front office easily. There's no question about that for me. Like, you know, Biden's administration doesn't affect me one bit. Panthers front office messes with my mental health. So that's what I got with that. Um, Dan Morgan is trying to clean up this mess for the cause. Got to have faith in Dan and Brent. Now I agree. They got to have time to do what they need to do. There's no question about that. Uh, appreciate the super chats, Keith Johnson. Um, got another super chat. So with Hunt, shout we out to you guys. Huh? How do we, we miss that many super chats? We missed a Jeez. bunch, bro. Yeah, we had a lot. Man, when you got, we got 1,600 people in the building. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, man. We still working through this. We still working through this game to get to what 23k, I believe. So let's keep it moving. No, we ain't hit 22 yet. We ain't 22. 22 so let's. Yet. So with 1,600, we should be able to hit 22 and 23. Everybody just press like and keep it moving. Shout out to Acast for the super chat. So we're hunting in the team now. Does it look like we're likely to go wide receiving edge with our second rounders, either via trade, Higgins or the job? There has. It's still early, but what do you guys think? There's still discussion about potentially taking one of those picks to go get Higgins. 
And and to keep it a buck with you, yeah, I think I'd rather pay Ridley and keep our picks. I think I might yeah. rather try I mean, to get Ridley. And keep yeah, because you it's not again just going back going back to the burn situation. It's not just swapping. It's not just pick, sending picks. You gotta pay, pay him. You gotta pay Higgins too. So yeah. I th- I think that we might focus on just drafting a guy because we I don't I don't see it. I Man, I could I don't know, bro. I don't know. Do you, bro. do you see us getting Ridley? Uh, yeah, I, th- I see them. Uh, you know, taking a shot at him, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't. I think there's so much talent in the in the draft. I don't know that I'm. I'm in a rush to 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 sign a guy. Like I don't know if I'm in a rush to trade anybody for anybody to sign big guy. I'm. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool with getting a, a Keon Coleman. Or Xavier Worthy or or a uh, Adonai Mitchell, like I'm cool. I think I'm cool with getting one of those guys. I think they're game changer enough, and having them on a rookie contract, I think makes most more sense. Especially when you still, yo, you still got Mingo on a rookie deal. You still got you got Thielen. You you still paying Thielen, right? So I man, I think, bro, I I don't know. I don't, I don't know, bro. Shout out know. to Aaron Swarm, um, half. Happy with the pick 39 coming back. I did want picks 39 and 47 coming back instead of the pick swap. I do love having 33 and 39 now. So it's not just a pick swap. It's a pick swap, but it's also a fifth round pick in 2025. Yep. So we got 33 and, and 39. That changes a lot, bro. Hey, yeah. Remember, remember, when we, remember when we did the mock draft, right? And you saw how we were in that in that scenario and we were trying to get an edge rusher. Now you could get an edge rusher and a receiver. Now that your offensive line is shoot, short up, or you can still get a, a, a better player or two receivers, like Dave said. We could walk up, bro. We could walk away with two very good wide receivers in the second round, right? So I I mean, it but you still gotta you still gotta move. You cannot go into free agency without a, a, another edge rusher. We gotta sign a guy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we oh, now you guy. ready? Now you re- now you ready? We created, we created, we created a hole. Pause, and now we we gotta fill we we gotta fill it. We or it. or if you if you're really jumpy, just take care of Derrick Brown now. Like just extend him now. Just but extend. yeah, but extending Derrick Brown won't hurt us in the short term. That's why I'm. I don't understand why they just won't get that done. The same reason why they didn't do it for Brian Burns. Like, well, I think that's future. I think they were future proofing themselves because even then, Brian Burns having Brian Burns and. Derek Brown paying both of those guys. Maybe they just didn't see that in the cards. You know what I mean? So, but now that the space is clear, Derek Brown is your clear elite player on the on the uh, on the squad. You got to keep him. You got to keep. Uh, you got to keep Derek Brown. So I think they they'll get him done. They'll they'll get him. They'll get him. Right. I believe. I, I believe they'll get him right. All right. Get him right. Now we can use thirty nine for Higgins. We discussed that already. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, shout out to Mango Cole with our cap guy. I believe anything is possible. I agree. There, Rick High. Where are we now in cap space? We're like 35 at 15 million. million. I 35 that million, question. but that's before. that does not include. Yeah, that does not include the hunt signing. Yeah. Burn stats were low impact, in my opinion. Never big moments. Let me tell you guys something, man. I under look, man. I can't I can't roll with that. I can't roll with that. The dude was top 10 in multiple defensive categories in the league since he was since he was drafted. Like there's a reason why he got the money that he got. And I'll tell you what. Burns and Tibbs seems like a very, very, very deadly combination. Yeah, Burns Burns across from somebody else is a problem. My we've God. seen that. We've seen that. Yeah, we've seen that. We know he, he's going to eat up there. Burns is going to eat in in New York. Do we play the, the the Giants this year? Yes, we do. Shit, that's right. So for now and now, shout out to Underdog Fantasy. They do higher and lowers for defensive players now too. Shout out to Aiden Guthrie. Um, second well, highest paid edge on us, bro. Huh? Blood and guts, Bruh, I'm waiting for the Brian Burns higher or lower. I'll leave it at that for that week. Second highest paid edge. He's only hit ten sacks once. Goes back to what I said. Sacks matter, but not as much as you guys say it does. He he gets pressures. He gets hits. He's disruptive, and now you and you had to game plan for him. That's important too, guys. You got to scheme for him. Like, you got to have – like, is anybody going to scheme for DJ Johnson? Serious question. If Bro, DJ sign- Johnson is not going to be a starter. You keep bringing him up like he's going to start. He's not. As of right now, pull up that depth chart. He's you tell not, not going to – bro, it's not right. The season will <laughs> start tomorrow. He I know. Good. I know. But who's our, But right now, who's our edge rushers? Bro, it, it doesn't matter no, what don't, right don't, now Don't do that. No, no. Answer the question. No, no. You don't do it because it doesn't matter. The, se- the season does not start tomorrow, so we're good. If I'm coming but- back – listen – 
If that man starts, I'm coming back to this tape. Bro, he's not starting, bro. Don't be in the now now. He's not starting. The button will be nice and warm for you, okay? The button he's will be nice and warm for you. I hope not, not, but it's not out of realm possibility. All right, shout out to Anthony Del Costa Cassell. You think we try to get Burns trade done sooner so we can restart Louis, but it just backfired by no. I think they had no I think they've already decided they were gonna trade Burns at this point. I think the moment when they made it when they made the announcement they were no longer gonna be negotiating with him. That was the, it was over. Um I think Luvu, we can question like I would hope that our front office can walk and chew gum at the same time. I think you should be able to negotiate with two people at the same time. I think I I I, I strongly think if you have a NFL roster where you have to get it up to 90 guys at one point for training camp and then you have to reduce it to 53 that you're able to negotiate with more than one person at a time. I just 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 a hunch. Multi billion dollar organization just just a hunch i'm checking to see if uh if the mock draft simulators are updated yeah i was going to ask if you want to do a mock draft before we get I'm out of here to see if the simulators are updated they're not updated yet let's keep it 100 oh yes they let's, are yes they are they are all right, let's, yeah, let's, do let's do one yeah, man. let's do one man all right we'll we'll run a quick mock draft so y'all can see uh and before we do that, and it's man, monday may, it is monday make sure you hit that like button subscribe but we got more, almost 1800 people in here Hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 22,000 subscribers. I know some of y'all are new. You just stumbled upon us, which is cool. I appreciate that. Well, hit that subscribe button for your boy. All right, we're going to go ahead and do PFF. We, do la- last one. Last super chat. Yep. Let's keep it 100. With the history of defensive players not wanting to be able to get the money they want during contract tests, do you think Derek stays? I think Derek will stay if we're willing to pay him what he wants, Derek, what he Derek deserves. Derek's not going to get paid. I'm not worried about it. He's it, Listen, it's it's early. He's honest. It's just his fifth-year option just, just kicked in. It's gonna get done, but we you, got we, we got more super chats. We, we got to see where we are. A cash got to get my guy McConkley in the top available edge in the second round. Get out into your offensive lineman at sixty five. Um, Tyler Jones having the 30, 30, 39 pick as of right now. I see is getting wide receiver for sure. There may be a D year cornerback. D may take you two years to fix, in my opinion. Ah, uh, sure. Is it time to create the Dan a Dan O'Meter yet? Not yet. Not yet. Too the soon. Dan O'Meter, man. Too soon. We might have to do the Dave. We not we have to do a Dave and Dan Dan O'Meter because if you keep it a buck, I mean they're they're kind of tested at the hip. Um, Black Ball Enterprises. Uh, or or can we grab an O lineman and edge in the second and wide receiver in the third? I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, but let's see what else I'll have in the free agency. Like Rashad is saying, they're saying they're not done yet with the offensive line, so we might not need to take That's one. That's what the streets are talking about. That's what the streets are saying. Panthers Kingdom podcast. It's house clean up. We need to keep Brown sad. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep Brown. I ain't worried about that. We'll keep Pre- Brown. Appreciate it, Landon, for the super chat. We could easily auction off 33 if a QB falls. If a That's QB true falls. Too. That's true. If a, if a quarterback slides into the second round, which always happens. I, you, you want me to keep it a buck about this quarterback class? What What's that, day? I think I think two years, three years from now, we're going to say that last year's quarterback class is better than this year's. I'm keeping it up with y'all. I'm not. I I, and, I would agree with that. I and I'm I'm coming from somebody that's just watching and noticing certain things and things of that sort. I think this quarterback class is a little bit overrated, and I think I think some teams are starting to realize that. Um, I know scouts, and some of them aren't as high on these quarterbacks as as as, as others are. Is the best way to put it. Um, last super chat, and we can do this draft. Quick take yeah, on the Matt, Falcons uh, side a lot of Kirk. Super chats came in. And you got to speed up. Oh God! More came in. Yep. Quick take on the Falcons and Kirk signing Kirk and the Bucks resigning Baker. Yo, let me tell you something. Baker got a bag, bro. Consider and Kirk Cousins just doing Kirk Cousins things. Yeah, Kirk. Uh, Kirk doesn't really make. He doesn't scare me too much. I think it's a it's a downgrade. A down. He got a, a downgrade in weapons. Uh, he doesn't have you know, Justin Jefferson not walking through that door. Uh, so I, I mean that matters. Let's be clear. Um, that really does matter. He hasn't uh, so, always had Justin Jefferson, by the way. So yeah, but he—that's true. But still, he—he he doesn't really—he doesn't really. I'm not really shaking in my boots for Kurt, bro. Like I'm—he's good. Don't Falcons get me wrong. are the favorite. Falcons are the favorite to win NFC South. He's good. I'm not saying he's not good. That's not what I'm saying. But he's not one of them guys that just got me shaking in my boots. I'm sorry. I mean, he's the type of guy that'll get you to the place, but can't close the deal at the place. That's who he is. The place he's is all that matters. Yeah, but he could probably win the division. He can win that. Division. We'll see. 
All right. I want my boy Darren and we're delivered. Appreciate you gonna, you gonna say that about us too by the time by the time Fridge is over with, Dave gonna say we're gonna win the division because that's what no, you do not. every year. I'm that's not doing you, that. You say that every year, bro. No, you say that every year. Not this year. Uh Jordan, how much we've already gone over the cap 35 space. 35 million. million. 35 million in cap space does not include the uh the hunter signing. All right, let's do this draft. All right, um, let's see. Here we go. Um the swap isn't in there, but that's fine. Yeah, the swap isn't in there, but it's cool. All right, uh, let's start this thing. Let's get it. I'm, I'm not gonna do any trades. We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. We do need a center. We do. We need, I think we'll have one sign before it's all said and done. So I don't. I wouldn't. Yeah, if the, if the best center in the, in the draft there, I wouldn't be mad at it. Look at the quarterback sitting here. <laughs> we just had a discussion about the quarterback. Wow! Look at look at look at the way the the draft is shifting. Zach Frazier, who typically goes in the second, is still there. Troy Franklin, Lad McConkley, all these guys typically go in the in the uh, the top of the first or top of the second. Excuse me. Uh, look how the board is shifting a little bit here. So what do we do? What do we what do, do you here? Know, what about what do you know about a, a cornerback named Kool Aid? Kool Aid McKinstry. He all right. He nice. Be nice. All right, to take you at 39. Well, did we uh, take somebody at 33? Say what? Where's 30? Where's our pick at? Th oh, 33. Okay, I'm tripping. All right, we're at 33. Yeah, that's where we're at. We're at 33. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's so, look up. So here you go. You got Chris ba uh, Braswell's the edge rusher. You got uh, Adisa uh, Isaac. This is this um, is a tough board. It is tough. This this board is not friendly. It, I think it's check the trades, bro. Check the trades, man. Yeah, we might, we probably could trade back here to be honest with you. Uh, because I see, I see Chop, I like Chop, I like Darius, but I'm probably if, if it's like this, I'm probably check trading them trades, back, bro. bro. Yeah, I'm probably trading back. We can trade back to 42, it's the earliest pick. And what do we and get? What else up, we get other than that? Uh, 44, 45, 46. What do we get? We just get 42. Now forty two, uh, and we would swap thirty three, and we'll pick up. Let's see if we can pick up an additional. What is this? The fourth. That's a fourth. Yeah. One hundred seven. Let's see one hundred seven. Yeah, one hundred seven is a fourth. Uh, can we get? Oh, future second rounder. No, I don't know. I, I would try to get a third at least. Let me see if we can get something for the Raiders. A third from the Raiders. 51% to get a third. One try try uh, scooping this one. Try it. So what's going to happen? Tell us All right, no. Yeah, they got yeah, it. Go. So we still got, you remember, we still got uh, 39, 39, so we got to be up in a minute. So so hopefully we can get chop. And yeah, we can get chop. Yeah, what so we can take there? chop right here. We take chop. Yeah, let's take chop here. And then we're back at 44. My God, receivers are gone, bro. Yeah, receivers, receivers got it. There's still some good ones. Let me let's look at them though. Where did Keon Coleman go? Coleman probably oh, he's still here. Oh, bro, wow, he dropped seven? Way down here, bro. What happened? I don't know, but I might take him right there. I'll take him. Bro, they tripping. They probably because it's 40 time. Take him. Bro, I'm taking Keon right here, bro. I'm sorry. They got him way too low. I'm taking Keon. I'm not even asking no questions. Give me Keon, bro. We got our edge rusher, and we got our got our got our wide receiver, and we got an extra third round pick. What are we looking at now? All right, so Jalen McMillan, uh, linebacker, probably need one of those. I'm not too familiar with this Edgerton Cooper kid. Shit, ninety grade. I think you should trap. What 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 is he? Six three two thirty. That's outside linebacker. Yeah, three, four. They saying Cooper nice. Take him. I don't, I don't know, bro. We might need to. We might need to take this, bro. Take him. Take him. Take him. Yeah, we might need to take this. We're gonna take. We're gonna take Cooper. Let me just. Yeah. Let me just look. Just so I. Somebody I'm said worthy. he's the best linebacker in the drive. So take him. You, I'm already, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna take Cooper here. Yeah, take Cooper, and we got 77, so we'll see how it falls when 77 hits. 
All right. You remember oh, uh, Austin Booker? I know he's a specimen. Had a trash. He had a trash combine. Uh, Jamari Thrash is interesting. Uh, Brandon Brendan Rice, Rice. Could, double, could double dip a wide receiver here. Uh, let's see. Cedric Van Pran is a center. What's our next pick? Yeah, one hundred. One hundred. We got a little ways after this pick. Nah, I would take we... another wide receiver here. Fix the problem, man. Either that or get a lineman. I mean, yeah, I was think I, I'm thinking the center for Van Pran is what I'm thinking, but I'm also thinking about or or what you could do. Scroll up. I saw the dude from South Dakota State up there, the lineman. Where's he at? I just saw him too. McCormick. But I don't know if he could play center. Scroll up. Scroll up. He's like nine in the nineties. There it is. You just passed him. 91, 92, I think he was. Mason McCormick. South Dakota State. I thought you said North Dakota State. No, South Dakota State. Jack Rabbits. Check and see if you put can you play center or not. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think let's see. Nope. All left guard. All left guard. But we could use left guard. We could use a left guard. Could could At least some insurance there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but ninety one seemed like a bit of a reach. I no, I, not now. If, but I'm thinking about after we take yeah, this pick. Right. If we you're decide right. to take a wide receiver, I'm that's thinking, what I'm talking about. I'm thinking Brendan Rice, right? Yeah. But I, I think we got a Rice type. Like we got Rice types. Like Mingo cool. is a is a Rice type. Uh, that is all right. So just take him. Just going to take him. And <laughs> just, well, just going to take Brendan Rice. Maybe he'll run up like, the hills I, like his dad. So what we don't have is is a, is a Jamari Thrash. Like I like Thrash vertical threat. Um, I think Thrash could be a problem. You got to bulk up a bit. Six one. They no fan went back to Seattle. They saying Van Pran day. They said go ahead and take the center. I think I I can't I can get behind that. Fine, you can take Van Pran. I, I just I, I just think that there's other yeah. If we need to, if we if we if we think the center position yeah, go ahead and take Van Pran. Go ahead and take him. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with Van Pran. I get it. That's a reach too, by the I, way, I guys. It. It's, it's a bit of a reach. It's a, it's bit a, of reach, a reach too. Just, just, just wanted to emphasize the fact that that was a reach as well. Because <laughs> we got a minute for our next. Well, no, we got a hundred. Hundred is the next pick. What happened with Brandon Ayuk? They saying there's some Ayuk news. Oh God, let me see. Um, let's see here. Michael Hodge. Bo Limmer, we just took a center, so we cool there. Eichenberg, another linebacker who I like. I like Kay Stover here. I'm gonna be honest with you. Kay Stover, tight end. I know what's his name. Just um, just uh, uh, Ian Thomas is restructured, but is McCormick still there? Uh, no, but we just took offensive lineman. Ah, oh, damn it! You know what's funny? My boy Zach from Blue Bloods said we probably should have took him out a hundred. That was the thought. No, he I, wouldn't I have like, there anyway. I like, Cam, I like Cam Hart, or I like. Um, Cade Stover. That's who I'm rolling with. One of the we two. Take, we taking a tight end after 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 uh, Ian or Thomas taking DJ a pay cut. DJ James. We do need a corner, bay bad bro. I say take him. Let me see. Because Deontay yeah. De- Deontay Jackson ain't a done deal being here next season. By the way, guys, that ain't solidified. I would take the I would take DJ James. I like Cam Hart though. Paul super pause on this, but he's like six three. Six two six three. I like Cam. Six two two oh seven. I don't know if he. I don't know if he can. I don't know if he can move like that. But I do like Cam. What's the What's the measurables for the other kid? The other one. Six six one and some change. I just brought it up. Six one. I'm still solid. Six one oh one six. Nah he's nah. Stick. Take Cam, bro. Yeah, you gotta have stick, bro. Nah, you gotta have bigger yeah, like, bigger he corners. He bigger he corners. Pause. Give me Cam Hart here. Yeah, going to like take a Cam. little bit of a reach, but I like Cam Hart. Nah, we take need, Cam. Need, Cause he ain't gonna be there at one forty one. So take Cam. You gotta have bigger. You gotta have bigger cornerbacks. One forty one. Here we go. Jordan Travis, my guy. I like Jordan Travis. You gonna take a uh, quarterback? We'll, we'll ship, yeah. We'll ship Lee <laughs> Trevor King. Uh, let's see. T- 
Tyler Davis, interesting. Mm. It's like a nose guard. We'll be mad at that. What Zinter. we play. I'm not mad at Zinter here either. 6'6", 322. It's more offensive line insurance. Mm. I'm not mad at that Left one. guard or right guard? I think that's a good question. Right. More, more, more of a right. Pass. Sorry, dog. Pass. If we're going to grab somebody, grab somebody on the left side. We're, 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 we're slipping out on the right. I'm pretty sure he could switch, though. I'm pretty sure he could, too. You know who I like, but I think it'll be a reach here. Maybe he'll be there at 165. The running back from uh from New Hampshire. Or Mammoth. Mammoth. Uh, what's his name? Guard. Dylan, Dylan Lobb. Running back. Oh, he's right there. 162. Yeah. 162 from New Hampshire. Yep. Hell of a player. He is nice. He is nice. <laughs> Hell of a player. I, I ain't gonna lie, but I I do I like Logan Lee. Logan Lee is a is a is a guy I like too. Um defense interior defensive lineman, super athletic. He's an Iowa guy. I think I'm rolling. I might be rolling with this here. Take kinda, take him uh, and if and if Lobb's there at 165, that should be the next pick. Yeah, I'm going with Logan Lee. Make sure y'all look up Logan Lee. I like Zenter too. Zenter was a good pick. I, I think if I, I think I think, I think I think if you played on left guard, I would have been mad at Zenter. Zenter just, just went. went. No, Zenter just went. Okay. Lob's there. Take him. I take I take Lob for Dave drafting a drafting a guy in the fifth round. We'll see. I I take Lob for that's Dave's pick though. That's fine. That's Dave's pick. Remember that. Look, I, look, I'm fine. I like the kid. I think he's gonna be good in the league. So. Jaheim you ready to take Bell. a tight end now? You ready to take your tight end now? It, now this is the place you take good. your tight ends. <laughs> Big tight end uh, out of F- Florida State. He's he's cool. I, I like him, but he ain't that super receiver threat you, y'all y'all looking for. But that, I think he not reminds me want. a lot of actually Tommy Trimble. Not Ian Thomas, who took a pay cut. Mm-mm. Okay. No, I think he's better than Ian Thomas. Okay. What well, ain't? Uh, let me shut up. Be quiet. Yeah, I was I was gonna say it too. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, but I mean, well, I I'll take him. I'll take him. I mean, is there anybody else you think worth taking otherwise? I mean. No, nah, not. I mean, here, no, nah, I'll, I'll take. I'll you don't take, like Casey uh, Washington? No, nah, I'll take Jaheim Bell there. All right, we're done here. That's the draft. That's it for us. Did we get more Super Chats? No, nah, I didn't see any more. But it's 31 uh, more. of them, though. I appreciate, appreciate y'all Super Chat. How do you feel about Kirk? Kirk Cousins? Yeah, man. I, he gets paid. That's what he does. We talked about Kirk, man. Have fun with it. Kirk is cool. I like Kirk. Four years. I, I don't like he played for the Falcons now. But yeah, Peyton four Wilson year. went in the first round. I was looking at this. Yeah, I saw that, bro. First from round. First round. He's gonna be a he's gonna be ridiculous too, man. Yeah, he's gonna be nice. He's gonna be nice. I said Christian Kirk. Oh, Christian Kirk? <sighs> I don't know, man. We got an A for the trade back and, and getting chop. Got a B plus for the Keon Coleman. They do not like Keon Coleman. Uh got an A for the Edgerman Cooper. But they knocking your they knocking your picks up, man. Eh, B minus. Well, the Van Fran. Yeah, the Van Fran, Fran at C minus and the D plus of Cam Hart. Yeah, they 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 beat them up. They like my Logan Lee pick. They like your lob pick, and they like my J- Jaheen Bell pick. That's solid B plus. I ain't mad. At, I wouldn't be mad too mad at this draft. Uh, walked away with a good wide receiver. I was um, more stunned about the fact of the receivers that were left, but then we realized that Keon Coleman. Just yeah, fell. bro. Yeah, some of them fell. Like were like worthy. Y'all, y'all like y'all fell fall in love with that forty speed. That's cool. Cam um, Cam talked he, about he, somebody he, asked him about that, and they asked him, "Does that matter?" He was like, "Speed don't matter if you can't catch the ball. Just like it don't matter. You can throw throw the ball everywhere, throw the ball fast, and." Throw it like a rocket if, if no wide receiver can catch it. Like it's about it's about everything else. And then he made a joke about like if you're doing Hail Marys, that means you're losing. <laughs> so it's it was fascinating because it's about it's more about whether or not you can run them routes. And and he prefer and Cam said he prefer guys that are quick versus fast. Yeah, same. Yeah, you gotta have guys that are quick. So shout out to Markeith uh Jones. He says if we play ATL in prime time, Kirk is no problem. Yeah, well, that's funny. Prime it's true. Time Kirk. It's true. Prime time, prime time Kirk. 
Yeah, we we probably not get any prime time games for sure. Well, we gotta, we we gotta, gotta, we're gonna get one. We gotta get some dubs first. Yeah, we'll get one. That was the Thursday night game, but we'll see. Yeah, we, that's the we'll only game we get. We're gonna get Thursday nighter. But yeah, right. man. Let me yeah, see. nah. This this is again a lot of a lot of good news uh, today, uh, or bad news if, if you if you are fans of Frankie Louvu and or uh, Brian Burns. Again, tough day uh, for the Brian Burns fans. But let me just leave y'all with this. You know, this is something I. I, I I I caution all fans of the Carolina Panthers, and I said this a while back, but I say it again for those who are new around here. Be careful about falling in love with these players, bro. Mm-hmm. Be careful about it. Sometimes it's cool to be a fan of a guy, but the way things work here in Carolina, man, it's tough. It's tough. I'm about to stop real talk. I'm about to stop. I'm about to stop buying Nine jerseys. Days. Yeah. I'm about, I'm about, I think I think real. the jury's error for me is over. I yeah, think you're gonna be so seeing too. me with like numbers. Y'all gonna be wondering if there's somebody that's on the team or not. Yeah, I think so. Too. These, I think I, I these think jerseys Bryce, are expensive, bro. Bryce is a surefire one uh, jersey to buy, but outside of that, man, yeah, it's tough. It, falling in love with these guys, bro. It's 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 uh you know it is what it is, man. These Trey, guys are, are Trey, not staying around. Trey so Brown ahead, and Chen. Trey appreciate Super Chat Steve. Trey Brown and Chen need picks. Build and draft. Too bad Chen's already a free agent, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Chin is a free agent and Brown ain't going nowhere. Brown ain't going I'm telling nowhere. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, Brown is going to get extended. We'll, we'll get it done. I think we'll get it done before week one, personally. I don't think this is going to drag out. They they learned their lesson uh, with the Brian Burns situation, and I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I'm not I'm not worried about uh, losing Derrick Brown. Not worried. Nobody, nobody signed Chin yet, but I'm just, we're just letting you guys know that Chin is a free agent. He can sign with anybody quick. he wants. Just real quick to let y'all know who we still do have available that has not re-signed yet. I'm going to run through a quick list. Henry Anderson is not signed with anyone. Raheem Blackshear, DJ Chark, Jeremy Chin, Jalen Dalton, Sam Franklin, Shaquille Griffin, Yitor Grossmatos, Kamu Grugier hill uh, Marquise Haynes Sr., CJ Henderson, Gabe Jackson, Mac McCain, Aggie Pride, Justin McCray, Giovanni Risi, LaVisca Chenault, uh, Amir Smith Marset, Deshaun Williams, and Chris Wormley. Those guys have not resigned anywhere. And some of those guys are restricted, restricted free agents. So I think a guy like uh Smith Marset, I think we're gonna keep him around because I think he's a he's a restricted free agent. Same with um Deshaun Williams, I believe. I think. Don't quote me on that. But let me let me check Marset. Oh dear God. I'm looking. I guess Towns is beating up on calls of Charleston right now. Let me go see. Uh, see what it is. No, he's a, oh, he's unrestricted. My bad. Smith Marset is an unrestricted free agent. Oh yeah, he's 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 so, free to go wherever he wants yeah, to go. He's free. He's probably gonna be up out of here, bro. Oh, that sucks, man. I like that too. Be up out of here. Devon Devon Bell get cut? Yes, Von Bell is gone. Von Bell is gone. Matter of fact, that and that salary cap I gave you, I didn't even count his. Let me go through this real quick and go go get rid of some guys. Uh, so Hayden Hurst, cut Hayden Hurst. And this is all assuming straight cuts. Hayden Hurst, uh, Von Bell. Uh, let's see who else. Dante Jackson. Oh, yeah, we in the 40s, dog. <laughs> we ain't officially cut Dante Jackson. There was some speculation that we might try to trade him before we release him. Man, he out of here, bro. <laughs> and this don't this don't count for uh Ian Thomas restructure. Yeah, we so might we, have we a lot straight, of cap space. Goes back. We straight, we got like 40 something and then again that does not include the signing of uh of uh Robert Hunter. Robert Hunt, yeah. It doesn't include Hunt. their signing. So My so. Twitter app been acting funny too. So yeah, man, we good. We good, man. We good. We straight. I think we we in, we in solid shape from a cap perspective. Uh, again, I think we we're gonna use some of it. Um, I think again, this is just wave one. We went out there and yo, usually we are never active on 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 day one. So surprisingly, we got the top guard. You know what I mean? One of the top guards in the in the league. So we straight. We straight, man. You think we wait uh, tomorrow to breaking news? Uh, another one signed. I don't think we're gonna wait to it. 
But I do think we'll get another um some more signings tomorrow. I do think that's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, shot. we're gonna I appreciate a super chat too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we're we're gonna get we're definitely gonna get more signings tomorrow. There's no question about that. I mean, I think we're but this is the most active we've been in free agency on the first day in a while. Yeah, we are, we are never yeah, we always some day two shoppers. We usually mm-hmm. spectators. Yeah, you know I mean, so that's that's oh true. yeah, oh yeah, that is right. I re- I do that remember is, this. I remember that. I remember that. Oh Jesus, I remember, Efflin, I remember those days. Oh my God, I'm getting PTSD thinking about it. Is yeah. Ridley an option? Of course, Ridley's an option. Why wouldn't Ridley be an option? I think I prefer to sign a Ridley over trading for Higgins. At least we won't have to give a draft capital to do it. Free agency is as long as it takes. It started to, but it's not a fisty free agency. Today is just a legal tampering day, right? I'm sorry for the balloon yeah, no, guys. Nobody's getting signed, signed. But all right. Unless you got something else, man. We can go in and shut this thing down. I know you said you got a hard stop. Yeah. Yeah, I got something I gotta do as well. I, so uh again, yeah. this is just we just went loud to talk about the Brian Burns situation. Uh yeah, tough day for for fans of Brian Burns, but Again, it's always it's always the black and blue over individuals, man. Either you're a fan of the Panthers or you're not. If you're a Brian Burns fan, cool. Go go get you a Giants jersey and rock with them. But we we fans of the Panthers here, bro. So it's it's always Panthers. Hater mode activated for any non-Panther. That's just what it is. Uh, shout out to Black Ball and Enterprise. Dan is going to build in the trenches. Don't be surprised if we sign Eric Armstead. I wouldn't be surprised either. But we're going to see, man. We, we'll be interested to see what happens. But to the 1,700 people, that are subscribed to the, that are watching right now make sure you like and subscribe to this channel we typically go live we go live every tuesday night at 8 p.m eastern standard time so come check us out every tuesday night at 8 p.m eastern standard time i'm gonna probably bring back the fantasy hour probably within the next month or two i haven't decided the date that i'm gonna do it but i will let you guys know make sure you follow us on twitter at panther nation pc typically rashad is running the helm there my handle is right here under my name. So you can hit me up personally if you want to. Um, we're on TikTok. We're on Instagram. We're on, we're, we're, we're on Facebook. You're already here on YouTube. We're definitely still going live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be more of a short show for you guys. I have a show, MD. I cover HBCU sports, but I also talk other topics, NFL, blah, blah, blah. I go through all that, too. I go live on Monday at 9 o'clock. I will make sure I get the link copy for you guys on my Twitter handle as well. But with that being said, like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Peace out, y'all. Good outro, Dave.